Thanks for watching. I'm Larry Boy Humor from Novatech Technologies. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Sierra Wireless MP70 Rugged Router. We are going to walk through the product, show you what comes in the box, and cover the different parts of the router. Let's get started by covering what comes in the box. First, you get the router itself. The router is quite solid and mounts using its four built in feet. There are four screws and four washers provided or you can use your own. Next, you have a quick start guide, which covers the five steps to get your router set up. We will cover the first two in this video. Parts three to five involve connecting to the cellular network and setting up the product with different Sierra software offerings. We will cover these in more detail in the part two and part three video. And finally, there's a DC powered cable that is ideal to be used in mobile environments like in the case of a vehicle deployment. Let's move to looking at the front of the router. Starting on the front at the left, this is where you would insert the SIM card to allow the router to gain access to your cellular network. You first start by removing the cover with a screwdriver. Once you have removed this door, you can easily access the SIM slot. Next to the SIM door is the reset button. This is used to reboot the router in the event of an issue. Let's move over to the six LED lights on the front of the router, starting from the left. The GNSS light will be green to indicate that you've acquired an active signal for GPS-based tracking. If it is flashing, it does not have a solid fix. The second light is for Wi-Fi. A solid green light will indicate that Wi-Fi is enabled through cellular, while a solid amber light tells you that you are connecting to a Wi-Fi hotspot for internet access. A flashing light of either color means you are sending and receiving traffic. The network light allows you to see if you are successfully connected to your chosen cellular network. If it's solid green, that means LTE, while solid amber is either a 2G or 3G connection. Flashing red is not good, as it means you are not in coverage. Related to the network light is the signal light, which will let you know how strong of a cellular signal you currently have. If the signal is ideal, it will give you a solid green, while it will go solid amber if the signal is only fair. You never want to see a flashing light, as this means little or no signal at all. When you are successfully passing data, the activity light will flash green when transmitting over Ethernet or Wi-Fi, and red if it's using the serial port. If you happen to be doing both at the same time, it will flash amber. The final LED light on the router shows the power level. No light means you have little or no power, while solid green means sufficient power is being delivered. It may also be solid red if you are in standby mode. Moving on to the back of the router, the MP70 allows you to connect up to four Ethernet based devices at the same time using the ports on the left side. It also provides a mini USB port for you to connect a device. The final way to connect your device to the router is via a serial port, which is very commonly used in many industrial applications. Depending on your application, you may wish to use the input-output ports on the router to be alerted to events like a door being opened. This requires a cable that can be purchased separately. Moving to the right side, we will look at the three antenna connectors that this router has. The one on the left is the main connector for cellular signal while the one on the right is the second cellular antenna. By using both antennas, you create an enhanced signal environment that is referred to as diversity. This is highly recommended. In the middle is the connector that you would attach an antenna that allows you to pick up GPS-based information. And finally, we have the power connector receptacle. This is where you plug in the provided cable to provide power to the router. Many thanks for taking time to watch this video. If you're interested in more information, click on one of the links below.